Flashing a humpy old roof valley requires some give and take and a backup plan. This valley has seen its better days, but the critical spot carrying water past the dormer has not leaked. The roof will get a layer of peel and stick membrane, and the valley will get an additional layer of metal flashing on top. But first, clean up the valley of shingle scraps, loose nails, sawdust, and wood chips. Once the valley is clean, Lynn applies a peel and stick membrane running up the valley. Because he's working alone, or with the limited help of me, the cameraman, he covers the valley with two pieces of membrane, starting at the bottom where he needs to tuck the membrane below the step flashing. He uses the split release paper on the back to stick the membrane to one side of the valley at a time. With the first side stuck, he can adhere the other side. Finally, he goes to the top and fills in the last section, tucking it under the ridge vent. Now Lin can turn to installing metal valley flashing. First, he snaps a straight line up one side of the valley. The metal follows the line and is tacked in place to allow adjustment. I just kind of tack them like that to like he uses shims made with shingles to smooth out the divots. The top piece of flashing is trimmed to the shape of the ridge and installed in place. With the metal placed, Lynn adjusts the fit to try to smooth out the puckers, but he notes that some pucker is inevitable. If I only get a little bit of puckering in an old building, there's no way around it. 